Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Unbound. And in today's video, we are going to discuss 16th problem that came as a four marker in Math Kangaroo grades 5 and 6. So let's see what is the question for today. The Braille system is used by people who are blind. When written down, the digits 0 to 9 are represented by a set of black and white dots as shown. So you can see over here, this is how 0 is represented. It is having white dots and then black dots. Okay. How many different two-digit numbers contains exactly five black dots? So there are two ways to solve this question. Okay. Let's see method one over here. Firstly, if we are going to make a two-digit number, it will have tens place and ones place, right? We cannot put any number in tens place, which is zero, right? We cannot put zero under tens place. Why? What will happen if we are going to put zero under tens place and three over ones place? Let's assume. So this is equal to three only, right? Zero before any number does not have any value, correct? Whereas if we are writing zero under ones place, then it will have the value, then it will be considered as a two-digit number, okay? So no number can start with zero if we are making a two-digit number. Let's assume we are starting with one, okay? Now one contains only single black dot. We would need another number that contains four black dots. And we can see over here, that is only number seven. Correct, only number seven. Now, if we are going to start with two, so two is having only two dots. So we need numbers having three dots, right? Because two plus three is going to be five. So we can have number four, we can have number six, and we can also have number eight, right? So we can make 24, 26, 28, like that. Now, if we are going to start with number three, so again, three is having two dots, two black dots, right? So we can go to number four, six, or eight. And along with it, we can also add zero to it because zero is also having three dots, right? So we can make uh, 30, 34, 36, or 38, like that. Now, let's say if we are having, if we are going to start with number four, so if we're making a number starting with four, four is having three dots. So we can have two attached to it or three attached to it or maybe five or maybe nine. Correct. This goes on and on and on and on and on. You can keep on doing it and you will get your answer. But this is a long process, right? It will consume a lot of time. So we are not going to use this way to solve our answer. So what we are going to do is, we are going to apply the concept of combinations, right? So we know in a two digit number, there will be two places, tens place and ones place. Okay, let's assume number of black dots in tens place, it can be one, it can be two, it can be three, or it can be four, right? And number of dots, number of black dots in one's place will be four, two, sorry, four, three, two, and one. Why four, three, two, one? Because one plus four will be five, two plus three will be five, three plus two will be five, and four plus one will be five. We need to make two digit number containing exactly five dots. So this is how we are going to make the pairs, right? Now, let's just focus on the very first part. Tens place should contain a number containing one black dot. We have only one number with it, that is number one, correct? Now, one's place should have a number containing four black dots and we have only number seven. That is again one, right? Only one number. That means we can make one number wherein in tens place, we are going to have one dot, black dot and on 
10, one's place we will be having four black dots. So we can make only number 17 in this pattern, right? Now, let's go to the second part wherein 10's place contains two black dots. So we can have two in 10's place, three, nine, and five. So four different numbers, correct? We can have four different numbers. If we are keeping 2, 3, 5, or 9 in 10's place, so we need to have another number that contains 3 black dots, right? Because 2 plus 3 will be 5. Then we can have number 4, number 0, number 6, and number 8, right? So we can make, let's say if we are putting 2 in the 10's place, so we can make 20, 24, 26, right? Or 28. Correct? So in total, four numbers we can put in one's place. So that means we can make in total how many different numbers? 16 different numbers. Okay? And then let's move to the third part wherein tens place contains three black dots. So we can have number four, number eight, Number six, am I missing any number containing three black dots? Yes, number zero. But we cannot have number zero in tens place. We saw that, right? So we are not going to count zero. Only three numbers are possible. And then in one's place, we can have two, three, five, and nine, four numbers, right? That means 12 different numbers we can make wherein tens place contains three black dots and ones place contains two black dots. Okay. Now, the last one, if we are having four dots in tens place, that is only number seven. Number seven is having four black dots and then we are having only one black dot on ones place. So we can only make one number, right? That is 71. Okay. So we can make only one number. Now what we need to do is, let's add all these numbers. What all uh, combinations, what all numbers we got, we need to add it now. So after adding, what answer we are going to get? Let's see, six plus two is eight, eight plus one, nine, nine plus one, 10. So one will carry over, one plus one plus one is three. In total, we can make 30 different numbers which are two digit numbers and containing five black dots exactly five black dots so this is the easier way of doing it just we can see okay if we are having one black dot on tens place so we can have four black dots in one's place and same is the other patterns we can also make right and using the concept of multiplication or combinations we can find out our answer Okay, if you will do the other way, method one, which we started, but we stopped, right? Because that will be very, very time consuming. You can try that. You will get 30 as the answer only, but this is more easier. Okay, so that is it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed and I will be meeting you in the next video. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.